Hello, I'm Mitch Legan. Governor Eric Holcomb won't back a candidate for the state attorney general race just yet. Holcomb said today it was premature to say whether he would endorse Adam Krupp as a challenger to current attorney general Curtis Hill. Holcomb called for Hill's resignation in July 2018 after allegations of Hill drunkenly groping four women became public. Holcomb says he'll, he'll have more to say once the state's Supreme Court decides whether to punish Hill. Paoli Peak Ski Resort will reopen tomorrow after an extended closure. Representatives said they hope to open for the season in mid-December, but were only able to operate for a couple days before closing to a, due to unreasonably warm weather. The resort announced last week on Facebook that it had resumed its snowmaking process thanks to colder temperatures, and it'll continue to make snow as long as conditions permit. Ski slopes open tomorrow at noon, while snow tubing will open Friday. And yesterday's Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration in Bloomington focused on increasing activism, increasing activism around the city. Our forebearers were disruptive. We must be too. Don't be polite. Even when it's liberal white supremacy challenging black folks and white folks and non-black people of color, it's all of our responsibility to use our voice. The celebration included a full program of song, dance, and speeches. Activists like Abdullah said all people of all colors have to use both their bodies and voices to make progress. Government officials urge those in attendance to do so by participating in local government. And now we'll take a look at tonight's weather. We have a low of 17 with clear skies. Looking at tomorrow, we have a high of 37. It'll be mostly sunny. And then that sun will probably turn into clouds on Thursday with a high of 43. For more news, be sure to go to WTIUnews.org. And be sure to catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.